a total of 177 people were found with evaporizers at Changi Airport in an operation conducted over four days in late December by the Health Sciences Authority HSA and the Immigration and Checkpoints Authority ICA. Of the 177 people, 61 were fined. The others avoided penalties as they had declared and disposed of the items, said the Ministry of Health MOH, HSA, and ICA in a joint statement on January 4. The operation, held on December 20, 23, 27, and 30, was to deter attempts to bring in evaporizers, or vapes, via the airport during the peak travel season. During the operation, HSA and ICA officers monitored passengers who arrived at Changi Airport's four terminals. Pull-up banners and digital screens informing passengers that evaporizers are prohibited in Singapore were displayed in areas with high traffic. Passengers were reminded to pass through the red channel after baggage collection to declare their vapes to ICA officers. Passengers whose baggage showed anomalies when scanned were subjected to additional checks. Vapes found were confiscated and fines were issued on the spot to passengers who failed to declare them. The operations at the borders are part of efforts by the authorities to prevent vaping from gaining a foothold in Singapore. The joint statement did that in a separate operation at Tours Checkpoint on December 21. ICA officers uncovered 25 evaporizers and related components under the seats of a Singapore-registered car. In total, 1,656 evaporizer-related cases were detected in December. According to the statement, they include 176 people who were caught by the HSA for having evaporizers at the Zukop 2023 Dance Music Festival at Sentosa from December 2 to 3. In the coming months, HSA and ICA will conduct operations at land and sea checkpoints. Meanwhile, schools and institutes of higher learning will strengthen detection and enforcement efforts against vaping. Other measures include improving detection and removal of sales and advertisements of evaporizers online. Those who possess, use, or purchase evaporizers may be fined up to $2.000. First-time offenders who import, distribute, sell, or offer for sale evaporizers and their components may be fined up to $10,000, jailed for up to six months, or both. Repeat offenders may be fined up to $20.000, jailed for up to 12 months, or both. All prohibited tobacco items will also be seized. Information about prohibited tobacco products in Singapore is on the HSV website. Those who have information on the illegal possession, use, purchase, import, distribution, Sale or offer for sale of evaporizers can call the Tobacco Regulation Branch on 6684-2036 or 6684-2037 during office hours.